In this short lesson on the Industrial Revolution, we'll talk about some key inventions. Um, so first is the steam engine. Thomas Newcomen built the first steam engine, although the invention is generally credited to James Watt. Newcomen used the first steam engine to pump water out of mines. So what about Watt's steam engine? Why does he get all the credit? Well, in 1763, James Watt was asked to repair a Newcomen steam engine. He modified the engine by adding a condenser, then increased the machine's efficiency. This invention made the steam engine an economical source of power and was so successful that for 100 years, for 100 years, no drastic alterations were made to the design. Richard Trenvithick is considered to be the true inventor of the steam locomotive, or trains. He developed a high-pressure, non-condensing steam engine that improved on Watt's design. On Christmas Day in 1801, he tested the first steam passenger vehicle. By 1804, Trevithick had applied steam to hauling loads along a railway. His steam locomotive was used to transport iron a distance of about nine miles, which, is, which in his time was a major achievement. Trevithick's Catch Me Who Can locomotive, shown on this slide, was built in 1808. Its top speed was about 10 miles per hour. Again, at the time, it was revolutionary. You can move such heavy things such a far distance. Stevenson's Rocket. Just a few years later, George Stevenson designed and built the Rocket, the first steam locomotive practical for pulling rolling stock or train cars a rocket was a critical player in the advent of the liverpool and manchester railway the directors of the liverpool and manchester company were unsure whether to use locomotives or stationary engines on their line to help decide they held a competition in 1829 in which the winner would receive 500 pounds each locomotive had a haul had to haul a load three times its own weight at a speed of at least 10 miles per hour. The locomotives, who had to run 20 times up and down a track, a distance equivalent to a trip between Liverpool and Manchester, the rocket won the race, reaching speeds up to 24 miles per hour. The 31-mile-long Liverpool and Manchester Railway opened on September 15, 1830. Passenger trains began their journey at the Crown Street Station in Liverpool and ended at Water Street in Manchester. By 1854, every moderately-sized town in England was connected by rail. It really took off. These drawings show us the status of rail infrastructure at the end of the 18th century. This depot and bridge still exist today, so we know the drawings are quite accurate. During this era, a passenger could travel up to 44 miles each day, while train travel represented an enormous improvement in the speed of travel. It was only the beginning of mass transportation. Here are some questions about the steam engine. Be answered on Google Form. 